Now this is a story all about how Kurt Lewin's life got flipped turned upside down And I'd like to take him in and just sit right there I'll tell you how he became the father of social psychology In West Germany, born and raised, University of Berlin He wrote his essays, psyching out with Wartenheimer, Kohler, and Stu And working on his theories of gene identity When a couple of Nazis, they were up to no good Started making trouble in his Nachbarschaft They heard he was a Jew and then he knew Ich gehe nach Amerika Lewin, as soon he got in, saw Aristotle's view of nature, disagreed with this and that of Aristotle's nomenclature of inner essences. Hey, look, it's Leo's caricature. At MIT, busy as a bee, he became the director of CGD, Center for Group Dynamics, not Psychosomatic, Traumatic, or even erratic. He fought religious and rage of prejudices in order for no one to have nemesis. Developed training for sensitivity to help people with objectivity. Lewin, he no mathematician, he got a lot of ambition. With all of his cognition, developed an equation that came to help psychology. B is the function of P and E. Behavior is equal to the person of E. E is for the environment that influences you and me. That's who became the father of social psychology. As for fathers, mine's named Luke. Like in Star Wars, yeah, episode 4. He's got the force. And of course, Kurt Lewin knows something about that. Howdy y'all, we're gonna talk about some Star Wars. Kurt Lewin knew a thing or two about forest fields, and he'll show us how we can bring balance to the forest. Hmm, there needs to be strong enough force for change, or strong enough resistance. If the resistance and the force are equal, then change will not occur. If the force is strong enough, then change will occur. If the resistance is strong enough, change will also occur. There are two types of forces, internal and external. With internal forces, say you're on the Death Star and they have a need for higher profits, stronger weapons, more weapons, better stormtroopers, maybe a lack of efficiency. And if there's a lack of efficiency, and there will be a replacement in the leader, as we have seen in the past Star Wars movie where Kylo Ren killed the Sith Lord in order for him to become the new, the new leader, which will result in a change of leadership. External forces, however, may include competition in the galaxy for the strongest Jedi, or legislation and taxes the political environment, ethics and social values, or even technological change such as Wookiees or X-Fighters or more robots. Now an example of this is when Kylo Ren faces challenges, many things pushing for change. Rey, Luke, the Death Star, his mama, the Sith Lord, because there's a higher force and a strong resistance, change is slow. But if there's a stronger force and um, weak resistance, then change will occur rapidly. Um, but they're always pushing on each other. For forces resisting organizational change, such as uh, the resistance, and there was a culture already fixed and ingrained. In the past Star Wars movie, there was forces affecting change. There was Kylo Ren and Rey. Um, Rey, a part of the Resistance, and Kylo Ren, part of the Sith Lord. And, and there were forces resisting change, and there were forces trying to implement change. And 
when those two combat each other, um, change is slow. Um, also in the past Star Wars movie, Rey was a great example of a good leader over time. Um, a good leader can implement good change. He died of a heart attack, and that's how he became the father of social psychology.